sound a good car. Well, thanks. Very, ni <laughs> very nice. Very nice to meet you. Um, you too. Um, what we're interested in is to hear about your your early days. Um, I understand you were with the Bob Pierce Band, um, and I, Pete Harris was a member of the band. Yeah, yeah, I was indeed. I joined uh, in the middle of uh, 1980. I think it was May. And I don't remember exactly when Pete came along, but it wasn't long after that. Uh, initially, Paul Breyer was the guitarist in the band, but he was sort of on his way out as I was coming in. And also, uh, Papa John Livermore was one of the members, and he played guitar and piano. And then when I came in, he went more to guitar. But uh, not long after that, Pete turned up. And I don't remember exactly uh, how he came in, but uh, all of a sudden he was there and he was hired and uh, yeah, yeah he, he was a very strong performer, you know, an excellent singer and guitar player and when he led the band on his songs it was very easy to follow him and everyone noticed he had, had a great energy about him. I, I was rather an immature 16 year old and I started writing things about Pete Harris, you know, like I prefer Burt Whedon and things like that. <laughs> and he, he was writing, you know, Carl Sonny Leyland, I like Mrs. Mills much better. And, but it went, we, we all like, we covered the whole wall, you know, with this, this childish exchange. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I must have been a terrible pain in the ass. I'd, I'd actually <laughs> like to tell him I'm sorry about that. 